Hello there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another video. Time does heal many wounds. Time does heal many wounds. Now, just as a, um, you know, just as a footnote, I had said at first I was going to put, um, I had written down, time heals all wounds. But yeah, there's going to be those rare occasions when somebody is going to get something and they just got to live with it for the rest of their lives. That's understandable. Even then, they can still adjust to it. But I would say many wounds. Now, for those who have been following me, no, I said back in October, I had a community post said I had a stroke. And what I've been doing, even with these videos, is really just healing. Even just coming on here talking. You know, it's funny because you get a few people who I think they had uh, they had negative intentions. I think they wanted me to get off of here. But this is actually helping me to heal. This is actually helping me to heal. Because y'all remember when I first came back, I said, um, you know, I could barely talk. You know, but people have constantly been saying, hey, you know what? Your voice is sounding stronger. I can see you getting stronger. And even I had lost a lot of weight, but that was actually, that wasn't actually from the illness itself, you know, the stroke itself. It was from uh, not being able to eat. And I had to feed myself through a G tube. That's all. And there's only so much you can, <laughs> there's only so much of that you can like ingest during the day. Unless I just wanted to sit up and uh, sit up somewhere and have a gurney or something right there. And I'm just sitting there just having it constantly pumped in. But even that's gotten better. As y'all seen, a lot of people have noticed I've been, I can eat better now. I can eat better now and uh, still not to what it once was, but, you know, put on a little bit of weight. But it's, everything is time. Like I said, because even... Um, like, it's interesting because a lot of people who, some of whom I really do question their intentions because I think there's some people who, they just triggered by me or something. They don't want me on here. Trying to say, hey, just stay back. You know, you know how somebody try to act like they're your friend or something. But I'm like, I don't know you. Because my real friends got my phone number. They would just text me and say something. <laughs> but yeah, but, you know, it's one of the things is uh, just being up. Uh, moving around because one of the things, as I say, it was not only the voice thing, but also the physical thing. You know, there was a point I couldn't drive. I could barely walk everything. Now, all of that's improving time, you know, and that's one thing. If you're going through, if you have a stroke or uh, anything major, anything major, as long as you do what's necessary, you can heal it. Oh, and incidentally, I was going to say real, just real quick, I've even been checked in eternally. I've had a lot of labs done and, you know, the doctors gave me a, like a thumbs up. So it's like, OK, the biggest thing for me was the physicality, being able to walk. Because I remember when I first came home now, I'm in a three story house. I'm in a three story house, two sets of steps. Before I came home from the rehab center, I was actually concerned. I was like, you know, am I going to have to get like a little bed or something to put on my first floor because I would have trouble climbing the steps? Well, went through the therapy. Now I'm, I can run up and down the steps now. Now I still, when I go out, still have a cane with me. Sometimes, sometimes. I've been doing a lot more walking without a cane. But all of it come down to time. All of it. All of it comes down to Time, time, because the thing is, if you heal or you go through anything, your body will heal. Your body will heal. A lot of times when we're taking medicines or we're doing exercises, that's to help it along, you know? Even, um, and even going beyond that, like I can talk about the stroke and everything, and that was more of a physical thing. That was more of a physical thing. So, you know, I had to learn to walk again, I had to strengthen my neck muscles so I could swallow uh, more proficiently again. And since I'm recording this early, uh, you know, I'll probably in a few more weeks, probably won't need a few more weeks, maybe another month, might not need the feeding tube. <clears throat> hey, but it took time, it took time. And then, you know, even with uh, going beyond 
the physicality of a stroke and somebody might be going through some mental health thing. Time can still help you provide it, provide it that you do the work, you address the issue, you do the work. Time can heal most wounds, many wounds, not all wounds. I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna say that, not all, unfortunately. Like somebody might have something physical that they might have to live with, but they can learn how to deal with it. Time and tell them how to deal with it. But every, most, most everything else is just temporary, you know, just temporary. When I had the stroke, I, like I said, I couldn't walk. I could not walk. I had to have help just taking a shit. But moving around now, be out in public, and people, people who know me, people in the area, they say, oh, you're walking better, you're walking better. Like even if I have my cane, I'm walking, it's more or less just there. You know, sometimes I'm walking without it and everything. I actually broke out. <laughs> You know what, I was at the grocery store the other week and I had just pushed my, you know, coming out, just pushed my cart and it was about to go out in the parking lot. I actually left my cane right there and broke into a mini run. I was like, oh snap. I was like, one, that was crazy too. I was like, you know what, I've come a long way. <laughs> but it takes time. It's like, the thing is, whatever you do, whether it's physical, whether it's mental, it, it really takes time and you got to allow that to happen. You got to allow that to happen, you know, and make sure you get, uh, you know, just uh, make sure you get the right information too. Because a lot of times, even during this whole thing, everybody offering like, do this, do this. I'm like, you're not professionals. Seriously, you know, or you really know what's going on with me. Like I said, I took a, had a labs done and labs like eternally, I'm all right. It was the physical part I had to f focus on. And I knew that that wouldn't be a problem. That wouldn't be a problem. And even with the uh, swallowing and everything, I knew there was gonna be a point I'd be eating right again. Cause there was a point I couldn't, I couldn't, man. I'd do some swallow tests, nothing was going down, you know? And there, were, there was a few times I was like, man, is this gonna be the rest of my life? Seriously, you think about that. I don't care, still human. But what happened, I said, nah, I'll be eating again. I'll be eating again. And as y'all can see, definitely eating again. Probably I ain't gonna get as big as I, I was. I don't wanna put on that much weight. Get to a happy medium and everything. But you know what, that still, still takes some time. And you know, and even uh, uh, many other people who have gone through some stuff, cause uh, since I announced the stroke, I've had people hit me up. Either they've gone through it or they got a relative who's gone through it. And I said, look, just be there for them. You gotta be strong for them and everything, you know? And even with them, as you praying for them and everything, as long as, you know, you, you there for them, just help them. And it's gonna be day to day. Like me walking, like <laughs> breaking into a little run Oh, it took a while to get there. It took a few months to get back to that point. It took a few months, you know? It took a, it took a while to be able to eat, like eat something again. And even then trying to get that even better so it's like second nature because I got to be conscious of how I swallow right now, right now. But that's getting better. But it was just time. And just understand that, you know, take it day by day. You know, and yeah, there's going to be some instances where you get, you know, you don't feel like it or you feel like, man, this ain't going to work for me. You know, it can happen. If you have to talk with somebody or I know like one thing with my particular insurance, they offer mental health services. Now, if I needed it, I would take it. But if you got to talk to somebody, whoever, about whatever you're going through, please do. Please do. But you can you can heal no matter what. You can heal, all right? And for those things you might have that you might have to live the rest of your life with, you know what? Learn to cope with it. Learn to deal with it. Because there's been people out here, they've been given like, oh, you only have a few months to live. You know what they do? They go out and just live. So even something like that. So anyway, that's all I have for today. You know, keep rising, everyone. Peace and blessings.